your weekly view of young leaders taking big steps. This is NextGen. Sponsored by PFI Westernware, home of Boot Daddy. I pledge my head to clear thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. The 4-H Pledge, all centered around the four H's of 4-H, head, heart, hands, and health. All words that 4-H members across the U.S. have learned and I learned as a 4-H member myself. But today, we're here in Lawrence County to attend the Lawrence County 4-H Achievement Day and learn what all these young people have taken in this year. We're here at the Lawrence County Achievement Day, and I understand that there are Achievement Days taking place all over the state of Missouri all summer long. So take me through, what is a 4-H Achievement Day? Well, it's a time for the children to bring their projects they've worked on throughout the year in and compete against everyone in their county for awards. So take me through examples of what these young 4-Hers have brought. Uh, things like welding projects or woodworking, um, maybe some crochet arts and crafts. Beyond these projects that we see here, they're also judging mm -hmm. and, and other things that take place. Right, so they can do livestock judging. They use photographs to, uh, of whether it's livestock or maybe cake decorating, and they judge how the project looks. There's also public speaking and demonstrations they can do where they demonstrate how to, how to do something. My very first demonstration was in cooking, and I did how to make a tuna salad sandwich, and I remember standing up there, and guess what? I forgot the bread. <laughs> so it's key to be sure that you have all the ingredients for those demonstrations. So I've been in the shoes of these young 4-H'ers. Uh, but the competition doesn't end here. If they get a blue ribbon, they head to Ozark Empire Fair for the regional. There they'll be competing against everyone from Southwest Missouri. Everyone from Southwest Missouri. Yes. And then they get to go on to the Missouri State Fair? Correct. And that's a pretty high honor for these young 4-H'ers. And so the, their hard work and effort that they put in all year um, gets rewarded. But, you know, taking it all back to why. You know, why do they do this? It teaches your children confidence in themselves, um, how to complete a project once they've started it, mm -hmm. and just life skills. So Brittany, before we get started in talking about all the projects here that you brought to 4-H Achievement Day, why did you join 4-H? Okay, so I joined 4-H because it sounded like a really fun idea like in the beginning and then I found out it was really a lot of work, but it's still really fun. <laughs> and um, it just like gives, gets me more involved in the community and like it makes me like friends and stuff. So who's our special guest here? With this us? is Chloe. This is Chloe and you built something for Chloe yes. and competed and I had see that you've already got a blue ribbon. So take yes. me through what you um, built for Chloe. Okay, so this is the dog walk. Um, it's for agility. So like when he, the dogs go like over all these ups, obstacles in a course. Mm -hmm. So this isn't like um, regulation, AKC regulation mm -hmm. because it's She's small, yeah. and um, but it's just something for her to practice and um, like be more comfortable with the um, equipment, mm -hmm. um, so she can go into like competition. Is that your goal? So, is to compete with her maybe when she gets yes. older? Yeah. And I know another one of your projects is sewing, and you competed yes. here this week um, with your sewing project. What did you make this year? Um, I made a pioneer dress that you would, you could wear, wear for like reenactments mm -hmm. and um, or like a school um, presentation on um, like something in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. So, so what kind of skill sets did you learn in sewing this year that you can kind of use the rest of your life? Um, well, I like. I could make like my own clothes because I made it for myself mm -hmm. and um, I could take like some other like ideas and then put it all into um, one project so you get to use your creative brain. Yes. <laughs> so would you recommend um, young people like you joining 4-H and why? Yes, I would recommend um, they would they join 4-H because it's a really good experience and you learn a lot of stuff and um, their motto is to make the best better. So um, you take what you think that is your like best and you can make it better and learn from your mistakes or, and your success. A very great motto.
You know, you're a leader in one of the local Lawrence County 4-H clubs, so why do you serve? I just love teaching the kids something new and how excited they get whenever they, they get that project done and they can take it home and, and show all their friends.